All right, anytime you're welcome. Okay. Okay, this is FTT 250, the introduction to CNC. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, machine inside of a 4x4 four four block. Here's some of the various codes that we're going to be using. G90, absolute programming. G70 for inch measurements. Uh, we're going to rapid traverse with a G00. A G01 or either a G1, whatever you want to call it, or a straight line feed. A G02 and a G03, that's our circular um, feeds. The G02 is our clockwise direction, and our G03 is our counterclockwise direction. And a couple of the M codes that we're going to be using is going to be the M03, that turns our spin alone in a clockwise direction. The M06 is for a tool change, and M02 will end our program. Now, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a 2 inch by 2 inch inside of this 4 inch by 4 inch block. And I'm starting in the bottom left corner, and this is going to be home what we call X0, Y0. Everything will be measured from this given point. That's what Absolute Program does for us. So we're going to start this position, and we're going to go this direction all the way around. So the first thing I want to do is give it a little bit of code. It's going to go with the G90, that turns our absolute programming. The next line of code is going to be a G70. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and give it a tool. That will be an M06, and in this case we're using tool number 5, which happens to be an engraving tool. Uh, we're going to turn the spin along with the M03, S for speed, and maybe about 2,000 revolutions per minute. Now we can go ahead and position ourselves to the bottom of this corner. That's going to be a G00. I'm going to wrap it to that point. X is going to be going over one inch because here we have two inches and we have two inches this way as well. So we take four minus two, we got two. And we divide that by two, that means we have one inch all the way around the perimeter. So X will be going in 1.0, Y is going 1.0, and Z, which is our up and down feed, will be going 100 thousandths above the surface or 0.1. Everything going in this direction is going to be going in a Y axis. This direction is our X. And right now we're working in this quadrant, so everything will be positive, positive. Now that we've positioned ourselves here, we can go ahead and go down to the workpiece. That would be a G01, Z minus 0.0. 25 or 25 thousandths of an inch. We'll give it an F for feed, and that'd be 20 inches per minute. That's how we express our feed rate, inches per minute. Now that we're down inside the part here, we need to get to this point. So absolute programming measure from one given point from here to here is one plus two is a total of three inches on our Y. So that would be Y 3.0. Now to get to this point, from here over to here is one plus two is another three. So X will be going three inches. Now we're here, and from here to here is one in our Y axis. And to get back where we started from here to here in our X axis is one inch. Now that we're through, we can pick our tool bit up. That's gonna take a rapid command, G00, Z, 3.0 or anything above the surface, any positive number. Uh, I like to bring it up high enough where I can reach my hand and then get my part out without cutting my hand with the tool bit. Now if we take X back home and take Y along with it, it gets back to here to the beginning start point and uh, M2 will end that program. Now I'm going to leave all this information here because the next thing we're going to do is a triangle. And a triangle, there's nothing different about it except for we've got a little bit of an angular movement. This is still going to be two inches wide and two inches tall within a four by four block. So if I erase this and I find my start point, my start point is going to be the same thing, and the X is going to be one inch and the Y is going to be one inch. So if we wrap it to that point. X 1.0, Y 1.0, or we'll take Z within 100,000 of that surface. Pull a tool bit down like we did a while ago, G01, Z minus 0 0.025, with a feed rate of the same thing, feed 20 inches per minute. 
Now we can go ahead and start traveling. We're down inside the workpiece here. I need to get to this point. So half of four is going to be two, so I know from here to here my x axis is going to be two inches. X 2.0. Now we're going to give it a y command on the same line because we want to move both axes simultaneously. And from here to here is one plus a total of two is going to be three inches. Another diagonal move will get us to this point. From here all the way to here is going to be three in our x, and from here to here is one in our y. So x will be 3.0, and y is going to be 1.0. Now, we only have one axis to travel, and that's going to be our x-axis. So from here to here is going to be one inch in our x, x 1.0, and we're through with it. G00, Z 3.0, X goes home, takes Y with it, M2 ends that program. One last one to do, and that will be a circular command. And I'm going to get rid of that. And we're going to do a two inch circle in this one. It's supposed to be a circle, it looks like an egg, but it's supposed to be a circle. That's going to be a two inch diameter circle. And the easiest way to machine circles is within uh, quadrants, like the base of a clock. In other words, right now I will be at the nine o'clock position. This would be our 12, this would be our three, and this would be our six. The closest one for me would either be nine or six. I'm going to start at the nine o'clock position. So if that's a two inch inside of a four inch, that's going to be a G00 command. X from here to here is going to be one inch. And Y from here to the center of our plate would be two. And take Z within 100 thousandths of the surface. Pull the tool bit down like we did a while ago. G01, Z minus 0 0.025 with a feed rate of 20 inches per minute. And now we can start traveling. We have two options. We can go in a, counter, in a clockwise direction with give us a GO2 command, or we can do a counterclockwise direction, which would give us a GO3 command. I'm going to go in a clockwise direction, so the code for that is going to be a GO2. Now, if we're machining a complete circle, 360 degrees, if that's my start point, that's going to be my end point. So my end point is going to be X 1.0, Y is going to be 2.0, now, the way we uh, work the arcs is I is the center for X, and J is the center for our Y axis. So here's the center here. So from here to here, my X axis is going to be 2. So we, that's what I would be, I 2.0. And from here to the center in my Y axis would also be 2. And so that would be J 2.0. We just made a complete circle. We finished the circle out. We're through with that. Pick a tool up, G00, Z 3.0. X goes home, Y goes home with it, and M2 is the program. If you would like to get in touch with me and uh, go over some additional information, you can email me at morrism at O-C-T-E-C-H dot E-D-U. Thank you very much.